the various aspects that influence the responsibility of the education sector are you looking at factors that in, uh, influence the image of educators the responsibility of representing where do you represent uh, education sector is it just a conference where you go or are you talking to parents all the time do you have a hub of learning nearby and whenever you speak does a principal use the the language of optimism and positivity everywhere i think these are some very important things now there would be one flip side to this uh, vinodita where people say how do we then evidence all this evidences are asked that's the reason why i brought out some of these crucial pointers what is important is i would say we don't do things for the sake of an evidence but we evidence what we do because it has to be done that way and we don't create evidence so schools have to be a little wary of this that you do the way you have understood this and interpreted it but ensure that you know how to showcase uh, what you've done any comments on this uh, before i proceed in junior classes we tell the teachers that supposing you are giving a dictation in let's say grade 1 unless and until you are telling the child what spelling was wrong and where did the child go wrong there is no point in taking that dis- uh, dictation observe the concept has to be cleared the reflection has to be done supposing mm-hmm. you are involving the parents in some vocational classes supposing you are involving the parents in some class work or maybe they are coming as for a meeting or something there will always be some kind of document where these visits and these participations are reflected true absolutely so right we do not need to specially go out of the way and we make do. some absolutely. document absolutely right so, so that is very yeah. important beautiful so the second aspect when we talking about collaborative leadership again we're talking about shared intelligence to co-create learning institutions we know that cbse gives us a lot of uh, opportunity to create become a member of a local sahodaya become members of other sahodayas around you for instance we have a hosur sahodaya we have a bangalore sahodaya nearby we are members of chennai there's a lot of the shared intelligence happening we meet principals very frequently and how do we collaborate that's important do you have neighborhood schools so it's very important that the hubs of learning no doubt are working but do we involve the neighborhood schools not necessarily cbse do you call your government schools over do you call uh, another local matriculation school across ask them to look at what we are doing versus would they like to share so i think this is one of the most important things because it's not just about cbse it's all about your local neighborhood schools the it also talks about another criteria where you're collaborating with professionals and we must remember this word professional is a very broad terminology it could include our own parents there community members i think this is where the school has to now collaborate you could have your career guidance program happening seamlessly you don't need to call some organization and pay them through your nose but it talks about the use of the alumnus and i think this alumnus of the school the older the school is we have that huge bank of resources from our kids and they love to come back to school and tell you right now what's happening in the world of work and i think this is one area another one we found was the shared intelligence again is such a big word there's so much of collaborative projects have to be encouraged we talk about ek bharat shreshtha bharat uh, this time tamil nadu our state has been linked with west bengal last time it was with jammu and kashmir so you see the kind of learning that happens to children they started exploring some terms that were used in jammu kashmir they looked into Uh, the dishes of kashmir so this is where a collaborative project and the ek bharat uh, shreshtha bharat is a beautiful opportunity to share all of what we do and not necessarily cultural you could go beyond that i think there's no limit to how much we can do in this area of collaboration it is not to be underestimated you know dita this one uh, the tentacles extend far and wide international borders included and there's no limit to where you can possibly collaborate and bring in a lot of intervention of learning that is going to sharpen the platform of i would say shared intelligence uh, in collaborative learning one yes. thing that is very very clear to us is that if in today's days and times the school leaders the teachers the parents are not ready to open up like you say there are tentacles everywhere 
if they are not ready to open up and step out of their comfort zone and still stick on to the traditional kind of a setup then we will be doing injustice to the children no because covid has taught us that vasudev kutumbakam we are a small small village and we can reach out to any place like you are in tamil nadu and i am in punjab look at the connectivity also initially the school leaders and the managements need to open up to this collaboration then when we are comfortable with this kind of a collaboration for the benefit of the children this will percolate down to the teachers to the parents to the children and we need to spread out the wings to like local schools you said we can collaborate with them teachers can be exchanged at local level or maybe at state or even at a national level so there is no end to kind of collaborations that can be done through and when we go through and do them under score i think there will be such varied colors of collaborations and which will end up adding such positive value to the entire gambit of the school system absolutely that is what is the beauty of this domain is because it has to start with leadership and True. now collaboration has taken up an altogether different shape so it is a altogether a new form which requires stepping out of your own zone zone and also i think there's a win win perspective where both are going to gain when you open your doors of learning you share your best practices with others others come to see what you're doing they give you reviews and i think uh, it is uh, it is relevant to also mention vinodita that uh, the cbse conferences are wonderful platforms where we get to meet over 1000 plus principals and other educators across the country and outside and that is another place where i find a lot of behind the scene tea talk a uh, coffee table talks happen and we meet lots of people and carry away contacts so way i am in contact with you now thanks to this co-op similarly the conferences have become great platforms of collaboration if we look at platforms like that i think undoubtedly conferences must be attended so that this kind of uh, network is also strengthened and that's i think one of the purposes of a cbse conference also uh, possibly uh, we need to another aspect we should consider is that when there is a little anxiety when something new comes up like spoff coming up for many schools there would be moments of anxiety how are we going to do it but one solution to that is actually collaboration spoff need not cause that anxiety because one of the strongest points of spoff by itself is the collaborative effort that has happened so the third one i felt when we talk about interpersonal relationship you're talking about not just the principal now as a leader it is about every member of that organization i think this is where the principal as a primary collaborative leader talks about the interpersonal relationship we have to as teachers as principals ensure that our teachers get opportunities to attend as many forums as they can the third criteria which i'm seeing there is about the involvement of parents in this program how do we ensure that parents and students are empowered monitoring of your systems that is very important that is how the growth will be possible that these were the gaps and this is where we need to recalibrate or recheck true so that is very very important and then as you are saying that the ongoing processes we need to know where am i now and what is my next target true. which has been given by cbse in the form of performance indicators absolutely there are four levels that cbse gives in this score manual and yes. the school itself for its own self can decide where am i am i on level 1 2 3 or 4 true the focus is on from now where and yes. look at the where aspect as you rightly pointed out uh, these are three performance indicators on the screen which i'm showing which are in that level 4 but then why i brought out this if the language is a little tricky we have to look into that but as you said if we start from level 1 and clear it to level 4 and let's not worry about which level we are in what is important is at least we have recognized that i am in this level and in that level i have all my processes in place and there is no punitive measure that cbsc says you have to be in level 4 no but then yeah. i touch on the last aspect <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Yeah.